Hello, wonderful Head Start professionals. Ron Schwali here to talk to you about the voice in your head. That one, right? That one that just said, what voice are you talking about? What's the deal? Blah, 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 this and that, okay? I've learned something very important that I share with as many professionals as I can in the world of early childhood. That voice in your head, it's not real. Reality is real. What you can feel, what you can touch, what you can smell, that's real. The voice in your head is a program. Now, try on that there's ways to hack that program. And during this whole entire conversation, that voice in your head is going to be talking at you. What are you talking about? What are you doing? We're fine. We don't need any help. We're this, we're that. How often does that voice in your head tell you good things about yourself? You're going to have a wonderful day. This is going to be amazing. You're going to bump into a person you haven't met in a long time. It'll be wonderful. As opposed to how often does a voice in your head tell you things that could potentially go wrong? Did you know that 95, uh, no, no, sorry, 85% of the things that we worry about never happen? That voice voice in your head is going to be there the whole entire time. How many of you have a voice in your head and they have another voice in your head saying, why do you listen to that voice in your head? And then all of a sudden there's a third voice in your head going, who's everybody in here? What's going on? These are just part of us. That's the way that we're designed and we haven't figured out yet why. So I want you to just consider this. Just because you have a thought doesn't mean it's true. Just because you have a thought doesn't mean it's true. This thing is here to help us. It wants us to keep safe. It's connected to our inner child. It doesn't want you going outside of your comfort zone. It just wants you to be safe and secure and never do anything fun and never want to go anywhere. It's just part of the design, okay? Nothing wrong with it. Nothing right about it. If your voice is judging what I'm saying, just get it. It doesn't have to be true either, okay? Consider doing this. Next time the voice in your head tells you something, number one, consider it's not true. Number two, if it's having you take an action, try on that there's other parts of your body that you can take actions from. Like, have you ever made a decision with your heart? Have you ever made a decision with your gut? There's other parts of your body. If you start making decisions with your heart or you start making decisions with your gut as opposed to making decisions with your brain, your life is going to even turn out even more wonderful and you'll start seeing how you become a more open, loving, and more connected person. Try it out. Next time you have an opportunity to make a decision or you feel triggered about something or the voice in your head judges you about something, drop into your heart, ask your heart, what do you think about this situation? Drop into your gut, ask your gut, what do you think about this situation? Most of the time when I do it, my heart just loves me, my gut talks to me logically, and then I make the decision with the gut or the heart and it ends up benefiting me more. Try that with your kids, try that with the adults in your life and see what happens. I appreciate you even for considering it. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Thank you for doing the magic that you do. Hey there, Ron Schwali here. Just wanted to say thank you so much for checking out my video. I hope you got some value from it. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you want to check out more videos, subscribe to my YouTube channel right here. If you have kids and you want to check out my Yogarati YouTube channel, then check it out right over here. And over here, you're going to have some videos of some other content that will give you some tremendous value. I appreciate you, and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day.